Are energy drinks addictive? Today we're going to answer this question, but we need to know first, what does it contain? Energy drinks usually contain sugar, herbal extracts, vitamins, legal stimulants, and last but not least, caffeine, which is the backbone of the energy drink. Caffeine is a natural stimulant that belongs to a class of compounds called methylxanthine. You can find it in various plants like tea leaves, coffee beans, and cocoa beans also, which we use to make chocolate, by the way. It can also be produced synthetically and added to food, beverages, and drugs like paracetamol to increase its effectiveness. When consumed, caffeine works as a central nervous system stimulant, which blocks the action of adenosine. Adenosine is a neurotransmitter. For adenosine to activate, it needs to connect to its own receptor, like a lock and a key. When caffeine comes in and connects to adenosine receptors, it will block its action, and it will promote and increase alertness, heart rate, fat burning, and dopamine production in the brain, which will affect your mood. Caffeine content is usually higher in energy drinks than what we find in coffee and tea, mate and soda. It will contain up to 300 milligrams of caffeine in one can. We should take in consideration that 400 milligrams is the maximum amount of caffeine we should take per day. Some of its side effects are dehydration, insomnia, and increased heart rate. So let's put caffeine on the side and start talking about legal stimulants. We've heard the word legal stimulants and we've probably seen the word taurine on one of the energy drinks you consumed before. But what is taurine? Taurine is an amino acid found in the central nervous system and skeletal muscles. It acts in neural growth and protection, metabolism, and antioxidation. You can find high amounts of taurine in the dark meat of turkey and chicken. In a simple way, taurine will increase your athletic performance so you will work harder for a longer period of time without feeling fatigued. The third component, which is also a legal stimulant, is guarana. So guarana is not an amino acid and it's not a compound. It's actually a plant which contains a lot of caffeine. Each gram of guarana contains 40 to 80 milligrams of caffeine. And that's why we say energy drinks contain a lot more caffeine than mentioned on the bottle because it also contains guarana. The fourth and one of the most harmful ingredients in energy drinks is sugar. Energy drinks usually contain a lot of sugar, just to give you the power, the rush, and the energy. But it will drive your caloric intake up. So you'll consume the energy drink before going to the gym and you'll burn one, two hundred calories. You are already consumed them, so you burn nothing. Eventually, if you're consuming it without activities, without sports, without burning calories, it will turn into body fat. So what happens in our bodies when we consume energy drinks? The first 15 to 45 minutes, caffeine will start to kick in. We'll start to feel a little bit energetic. Sometimes we'll feel awake and that's it. After an hour of our first sip, you'll feel the most amount of energy because all the caffeine that you've consumed will be absorbed. After five to six hours of feeling energetic and powerful, you'll actually lose half of the amount of caffeine that you consumed. That's why you'll feel less energetic. You'll start to feel fatigued. Our bodies usually need 10 to 12 hours to get rid of all the caffeine that we consume. After 12 to 24 hours, you will start to feel something like withdrawal symptoms. These symptoms could remain for the next five, six, seven days. Some of the side effects you'll feel, headaches, fatigue, anxiety, depressed mood. You basically will not be able to concentrate as much. On a side note, consuming caffeine every single day could lead to arrhythmia, which is irregular heartbeat rhythm. Combined with the absurd amount of sugar that energy drinks have could lead to much bigger problems like diabetes and heart failure. So the big question is, are energy drinks addictive? Whatever gives you the amazing athletic performance and mental clarity, you will want to consume more. You will want to get this energy. You will want to just be as powerful as when you consume these energy drinks. And that's what we call a psychological dependence. On the other hand, consuming caffeine on a daily basis for a long term, if it's coffee, tea, or energy drinks, can lead to mild physical dependence. But it won't hinder your daily activities and it won't risk your life like drugs do. And that's why medically speaking, we don't call it addictive, we just call it dependence. Because 
it won't kill you if you don't take it. If you feel like you're depending on energy drinks, the best thing to do is to stop gradually. Of course, you can always just stop immediately, but you will always feel harder withdrawal symptoms. If you decided to stop gradually and you started feeling the symptoms, what you can do is first you can drink or consume the alternatives like decaf caffeine or herbal tea or green tea, which is a great alternative to coffee because it has much lower caffeine dosage. The second and most important thing is to get rid of all the bottles you have. Remember, out of sight, out of mind. If you open the fridge and you just don't see the can, you won't remember it. Even if you remembered, you'll be just like, I don't wanna go out and buy more. Just get rid of them, give them to someone else. No, don't give them to someone else, get rid of them. It is the best way to stop consuming anything, even chocolate and candies. Whenever I'm on a cut, I will just remove them from the fridge because you will hit that point when you want it and you want it bad. If you know there's chocolate in the fridge, there's a can of energy drinks in the fridge, you will consume it. The third and last thing, try to regulate your sleep schedule. Try to sleep six to eight hours every night, sleep at the same time, wake up at the same time, at least for the first week or two, just to regulate your mind, just to feel energetic the next day. And hopefully you will live a long and happy life. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content, write in the comments what do you want to know about next, and I'll see you in the next one.